Hi, my name is uh, Bishop Bart Van Royen, and I am the uh, Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Corner Brook and Labrador. Thank you for joining me uh, for this conversation with youth and uh, young adults. Last week I spoke about love, and uh, it is a question that uh, we have throughout our life, beginning in our youth. What is love? And our pursuit of love, and uh, indeed our uh, trying to express our love. I suggested that uh, as Christians we find uh, uh, our definition for love in Christ himself, who uh, gave himself fully on the cross, not just as a self-sacrifice. You know, uh, martyrdom is, uh, is, uh, is one thing, but we see the joyful way he gives himself. It's a self-gift. It's an offering to the other. Uh, offered with joy, offered with a sense of, will you receive it? And that really is often what love is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gift we extend to another person and uh, with the uh, invitation for them to receive that which we long to share with them. Love is what makes us fully human. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, to love fully is uh, to be that which God calls us to be, uh, to express ourselves and to give of ourselves. Uh, this is what we are intended to do. In fact, all sin is, a, is an offense against love. When we indeed uh, love in order to uh, seek a reward from someone else, in a sense, we debase our love. Uh, we are indeed in it for something else uh, when uh, we uh, are not true to our love or to the ones we love. Uh, and that can be in various different ways. And so uh, John uh, in his letter says, God is love. The fullest expression of love is God himself. And so to uh, desire love and to uh, work towards always being an expression of love is really the highest desire within us. Um, and uh, so there are three really expressions of love uh, that, uh, you know, make it practical. Uh, three that I would like to look at. I'm sure there are others. The first is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a, is a wonderful way to express love. We see it in families. You know, how often do you have to forgive? You know, sometimes you may even feel tired of it. You know, uh, sort of like, oh, my brother, my sister, you know, even your parents. It uh, at times, uh, you know, uh, seems like uh, it never ends. And yet forgiveness is what we extend so freely because indeed they are our family. They are our friends. And hopefully we can extend that forgiveness to others because whenever we are unable to forgive, we do great harm uh, to ourselves. More than anyone else we harm with not forgiving is ourselves because we harbor this anger, this hatred, and uh, this energy within us. And uh, as a result, uh, we are unable to be fully that which we are called to be. So work towards forgiveness. It's not always easy. It's often we need to pray for it. Often we need to ask for it and seek it. And uh, sometimes it takes quite some time to overcome the hurts uh, that we may feel. But forgiveness is that wonderful expression of our love. Second of all, service. You know, I was talking about love as self-gift. And, uh, you know, we learn to serve in... Uh, uh, in, in whatever way, in a sense, you're called to serve. Uh, many people have a specific vocation, you know, they, uh, your, your teachers, your, uh, your nurses, those who, who serve uh, uh, in the hospitality industry. I can go on and on about the various acts of service. Uh, when uh, truly you see in a person a joy that they uh, do this because uh, they are truly intent on the other person. Uh, and, and I'm sure you have many examples of teachers or, uh, or, 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 or your parents or, or other individuals that have rendered you great service and you say, yes, it was done 
with a full and, uh, and a complete heart, with a fullness of joy. And a person found joy in doing so. It wasn't a drudgery. And, and to, in a sense, habituate oneself to it. Uh, it, is, it's, it's, it. It really adds joy to one's life. And lastly is generosity. You know, to contribute to uh, the works uh, of, uh, of, of charitable organizations, uh, to contribute uh, even by giving one's time, one's uh, energy, uh, one's talents, uh, to uh, be involved in the great human project, to make life better for one another. And sometimes it seems as if uh, our generosity uh, you know, uh, falls uh, short, uh, maybe it, it wasn't used uh, fully uh, as we intended, and yet the desire to give, the desire to uh, fully, uh, in a sense, uh, be in solidarity with those who are in need, uh, this too is a wonderful way of expressing love. Uh, and so I urge you to be generous with your love. Uh, this is really the working of God within you. And uh, like I say, when uh, we fall short, this is probably a good time to sort of reflect and to ask for pardon uh, where it is needed and ask that God may continue to uh, uh, help us on this journey uh, of, uh, of, uh, that, is, that brings joy to our lives. Thank you for joining me uh, today and I hope uh, you'll join me next time.